Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I have a review for you guys and it is going to be over the Morphe Brushes Ultra Fine HD Setting Powder which is this little guy right here. One of my friends over Instagram did tag me on uh, when Morphe announced they were coming out with these powders so I right away wanted to try them. Since it was Morphe Brushes I figured they were going to be pretty affordable as Morphe usually is. So I have been trying them out for about two weeks already and and let me just go over some of the details with you first. So first of all, the prices of the powders are $8.99, which is really, really affordable. And they have two different colors to choose from. You do have your translucent powder. Hope you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a translucent and there is also a banana. So obviously the banana is yellow, translucent is clear but obviously the powder looks white when it's all clumped together so within the actual packaging you do only get 0.35 ounces so it's not even a full ounce they are fairly small they fit right into the palm of my hand so they're not very big jars like the Laura Mercier translucent powder where it's a pretty good sized jar and you have quite a bit of product in there I have definitely been using more of the translucent powder or the translucent color as opposed to the banana and usually that is the case with me since I am on the fairer side it's actually really hard for me to use very yellow powders unless it's a very pale pale yellow but I can use this powder on the underside of my contour to clean up so I will say that the powders work fabulously I absolutely love the finish that they gave me I wore them today when I was doing my makeup and this is what it looks like finished they don't give any flashback of white which is a really big plus the powder itself is very finely milled the powder is very very fine which I really appreciate um, honestly the chunkiest powder that I think I've used is from Ben Nye although I love the color selection from Ben Nye but this powder is super super silky and it's very similar to the Maybelline setting powder that I also reviewed on for you guys um, but unfortunately I feel like it was a little bit of a miss for me and I'm having a little bit of buyer's remorse because I feel like the same problem I have with the Maybelline powder was the fact that it didn't have a lot of product in there and same thing with this I feel like even though it's only $8.99 I don't have that much product and since I am using it to bake I feel like I'm just gonna burn through this really really fast and I'll just have to be repurchasing very often one thing to keep in mind is usually these translucent powders aren't meant for baking purposes necessarily but us as consume consumers consumers and beauty enthusiasts are using these powders for baking because that's just what's the trend right now and everyone's loving the results they get from baking and we're using more of these products and I don't think the companies are making them in with the intention that their consumers are using them in such a great amount with baking because you do lose a lot of product when you are baking um, there's so much on your face that it kind of you know you dust away a lot of excess and it's you know it's a waste of product in a way but again this is also another really great product to use if you're just using the translucent or setting powders to literally just dust over your foundation to dust over some areas this is a great great powder to use for that and like I said it's so finely milled it really does blur away a lot of imperfections I feel like it really diminishes the look of my pores so they do keep my foundation pretty matte throughout the day which I really appreciate or at least they control my oil so they are very good at oil control and another thing is that I feel like any skin type can use this powder it is not as drying as some of the other setting powders that I have used another thing that I wish Morphe would have done and maybe they are gonna do but it's just not out yet is I wish they had a wider selection of color ranges to choose from I think they would really benefit from that I think a lot of artists and a lot of makeup enthusiasts would really benefit from a wider selection of colors to choose from but for $8.99 it just depends on what you're using these powders for is I feel like how you would get the most bang for your buck 
And another thing that came to mind was the fact that it also is very, very, very similar to the RCMA setting powder that um, Kathleen Lights had talked about and a whole bunch of people are just crazy about. And let me try to pull it up for you so you guys know what I'm referring to. So this powder right here is the RCMA setting powder that everybody is talking about because it's actually a really good powder and it's really affordable as well. This powder sells on Beautylish for only $10. And again, it's very similar to what I found to this powder, but this one's only a dollar more and it's three ounces. So you get way more product than what you get in the Morphe jars. So, do you know, but again, the downside with this one is that it only comes in a translucent shade. It doesn't have a banana shade. So, so for me, I like the product in general, but at the end of the day, I can't say that I will be repurchasing it just because, again, for what I use the product for, I feel like, you know, I don't mind spending more on a bigger jar or a bigger packaging or at least where I know I'm going to be getting a lot more product because I need that much amount of product. Out of one to five stars, five stars being the best and one being that I absolutely hated it, I will say I'll give this about maybe like a two and a half, but only because not the quality of the product but just for the reason and the amount of product that I got within these jars. So that's what I have to say about them. So that's all I have to say about these powders. I really wanted to get a nice quick review out there for you guys because I know a lot of you are out there looking for different powders to choose from because the market is definitely expanding within these setting powders. And I hope that companies do actually start to make baking powders. That sounds funny. But um, in reality, that would be a really great thing for companies to kind of get a grasp on because a lot of these powders are sold in smaller packaging because they're not being marketed for baking and I think if companies really want to get a good hold on this baking trend you know although it's kind of us being suckers as consumers but it would definitely be something that would be interesting to see is to have them make baking powders so maybe the same concept of this but in larger jars and market it as a powder for baking so I hope you guys found this review helpful and I hope it helps you with the decision on whether or not these powders are for you but that's all I have to say about him. So I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video on Wednesday. I really want to film a tutorial for you guys. I have some suggestions already, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.